So, 9-11. I can't start the fucking video like that. We all know it happened, all right, and it happened 23 years ago to the day that I'm uploading this. And its whole slogan is to never forget. So, I made a little tribute video, and there's no comedic value in this video. So if you're coming here to laugh, click off. Also, if you could, like and subscribe. I'm actually monetizing 9-11 right now. Don't laugh. <laughs> That's it. Now the reason that this video is so influential and hits me like a truck, you can see I'm actually tearing up a little bit here. Let me just... Oh. It's because somebody spent a good 10 hours creating this in all seriousness. This is a unironic serious video. You can see the dude left a comment on the video. He said, I would like to apologize if this video comes across as disrespectful or offensive to some of you. I understand the sensitivity around this subject and I do not want to emphasize and and, and I want to emphasize that, that it was not my intent to joke or spread hate, which also mine, I would never want to joke about something like this. So this dude spent a good 35 hours recreating this traumatic event in Lego and that was the best he could do this right here Was the best he could do and it's not funny at all It's not funny at all that the sound effects look like they came off of uh, fucking Windows 7 re-downloaded shit it, it none of it's fun the yellow buildings the Look, somebody put a lot of effort into this, and we should respect that, and there's nothing funny about <laughs> a Lego plane hitting a pink South Tower at 8.37 a.m. on September 11th. It's not funny. There's another video here. This one kind of hits home for me. This is actually what I was doing on 9-11, if anybody was wondering, you know. It's like kind of the same thing, like, where were you January 6th? Where were you 9-11? This is, this, I was actually in this video. Mom, um, it's just juice, mom. <laughs> Scoot right yeah. Mom, this is totally after you. Wait, go wait, sorry. That's the recommended hey, video. I don't want to watch yet. this. This is a memorial serious stream. <laughs> so, just for some context, this is a couple college students the day of 9-11, and they're, they're doing a little bit of day drinking. It's presumably probably 8.36 p.m. or a.m. My bad. My my bad. I shouldn't have forgot the time. There's nothing about this that's fun. Having some fun. Just having a good conversation. And then she just fucking... And then it pissed. Hands and and it's just a it's just a burning towel. <laughs> I'm glad you're being totally serious to stream me. I wouldn't want to offend anybody who might have had to experience this traumatic and really not funny event where two towers got. Same time next week. Same time. Yep. Yep. Okay. If you if you take a look at the top left hand part of your screen, you're gonna see a video title that looks um. You know I can't really explain that at all. for the truck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is not funny, this is not funny at all. Stop, man, please. I just want to say the points of this video that I find insufferable, not funny at all. First one is the Keen Master logo at the top. This is not funny. Fighting for a spot in heaven right now, 100%, exactly, exactly what we're doing. It should not be juxtaposed uh, on this subject matter stuff. Also, the, the hashtag Twin Towers in the description, which Guys, 3,700 and I think 23 people died. There's nothing funny about this. But even if I got that number wrong, it doesn't matter because our next submission, subject, topic, our next one that we're going to, September 11th terrorist attacks. Fun facts. Because we all know the most fun thing we could be talking about is the 2,753 2, people that died. That's not funny. We're going to read a couple of these facts. That does not say, oh, Fast facts. I cannot read. I genuinely thought that said fun facts. Dude, it's like my brain got hit by a fucking plane or something like that. I can't make that joke. Fact one. 19 men hijacked four fuel-loaded U.S. commercial airlines bound for West Coast destinations. A total of 2,000... 977 people were killed in New York City, Washington, D.C., and outside of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. So we can see at 8.46 a.m., American Airlines Flight 11, traveling from Boston to Los Angeles, stru 
Strikes? Ah, that word choice is deliberate. Strikes the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. Then at 9.03, American Airlines Flight 175 traveling from Boston to Los Angeles. Strike. Am I actually re- I actually just gained consciousness of what's going on. I'm news reporting 9-11 as a joke. It's not a joke. It's not. The next one we're gonna- This is probably my favorite one because it's the most serious. It's the least funny. So this video is called, uh, Minecraft World Trade Center Complex Plus Download. Hey guys, today I'll show you the World Trade Center that I built in Minecraft in a little cinematic. The only thing I want you to do is turn your listening ears on for the first couple bits of this video. There's no song choices that I'm just gonna play. <laughs> First thing I want to point out is that the first words of this video showing off a recreation of the World Trade Center, a place that was brutally bombed and attacked by two airplanes on September 11, 2001. The first words that are said in this video are, Joseph's on a vacation far away. The towers were attacked by foreigners and airplanes. Could we have chosen a worse song? This is not funny at all. This was not, there's no way he did that and didn't think about that. Actually blowing my mind that he didn't think of that. It's like in... It's like my brain is collapsed and it's not even taking place to it. This is just the world trade. Do you think this guy knows? Do you think he knows about nine? This is taking place in 1989. It's not even 9-11. Time to recreate that. Somebody commented on this video. Time to recreate that date. <laughs> and the owner hearted it. Does he know? I'm gonna do it. I just need a redstone plant. We're moving on. We're going on to the final web thing that we have for today. This will be one of the final things that we tour today on our little 9-11 field trip. Should have uh, thought of a better name for that. How 9-11 became one of the internet's most popular memes. Now, I want to preface that I, Kangro, am only here to make the most lighthearted and inclusive content that offends nobody, and I would never joke about something as traumatic as this. So this, this high school student right here is sick. This sickens my, my stomach. This sickens my stomach. I hate this. Guys, you think that one will look good on Twitter in a couple years? You think that one will look good? Olivia, a 22-year-old college student, was sitting in English class at her Minnesota school last week when her professor began talking about challenges and writing about traumatic events. But when he used 9-11 as an example and described to the class how hectic things seemed that day, she realized just how she felt or rather didn't feel about the attacks. Being terminally online is wild because someone mentioned 9-11 in my class today and I genuinely forgot that not everyone thinks it's funny now. I think it's been watered down a lot for our generation. The final thing that I want to show you guys is a little bit of a Minecraft map. They call me Mr. Minecraft. I've said this many a time. You might have seen this map before. I don't know. Maybe you've been paying attention the last fucking 10 minutes. But you can see that if I read these signs, it says to look behind me. And that's the first thing that I see. And if we take a look, 